you have some beautiful plants next to you. Yes, these are these are bromeliads. All right, so we're going to talk about bromeliads and how yeah. to take care of them. Well, yeah. First, we get, let's let's find out what bromeliads are. Okay, let's do that. Um, they are beautiful plants. They have multicolored foliage in reds, greens, oranges, pinks, all kinds of colors. They, the foliage can be either solid green, they can be <laughs> spotted, they can be striped, or they can be banded like this yeah, that's nice. particular one. And there are like 2,500 different uh, uh, species of this. 2,500? Yes. Okay. And they have so hybrids, thousands of hybrids and cultivars. <laughs> so there is a large family, very popular, but it's considered a primeval, primeval plant because it has been around for millions of years. Wow. Millions okay. of years. It's a long time. Yeah. It evolved. <laughs> right. Yeah. And of course, like orchids, these are epiphytes, and which means that they can be grown on logs or some kind of other plant, mm -hmm. but they only need it for support. They don't take any food or nutrients from the plant. Good. So it's not a sacrifice. No. Okay. No. It's, I got you. It, they just, because they're, they're understory plants in right. the forest. Right. So do they need soil to support their growth? Um, sometimes they sometimes. do, sometimes they don't. Okay. Like, like I said, you can put them on logs and uh, boards and things like that. Okay. Some of the most popular kinds are Guzmania. These have long, flat leaves that are multicolored that have bracts that are colored like poinsettias, you know. These are the same way. Neurogelia, these have pink and purple bracts. Varicia, these have feather-like blooms on them. <laughs> and there are two others that you may not understand that is a bromelid. Spanish moss is uh, also a bromelid. Because, I didn't know that. Because you know, it, it hangs on the it tree, does. Uh -huh. but it doesn't take nutrients from the trees. It takes nutrients from the, the air uh -huh. and the surrounding area. Okay. And uh. Ananas is another genus that is actually pineapples. Whoa. A pineapple is a bromeliad, and it's the only one that produces fruit. That. Okay, I learned so much good stuff. I didn't know. I that. know. It, it, it is, isn't okay. that interesting? Yeah. It's a very large family, and it, <laughs> they they're they're real pretty, but uh, we want to talk about their care. Okay, let's do that. All right. They like 60 to 85 degrees, so they're tropical. They're tropical, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. They like humidity that's around 50 percent. Okay. Which is not, you know. Our most, our most of our indoor air is at least that. Okay. Uh, they like bright light, but not direct sun. Because think about it, in the wild, they're understory. Okay. So Got they it. get okay. bright light, but they don't get direct sun. Got it. Uh, most importantly about them, they like well-drained soil. Well-drained soil. In fact, a lot of people will plant these in orchid mix hmm. and cactus mix something that is well drained okay and not just plain soil because the so what they don't they they don't like to be wet okay i mean they can take moisture but they like to dry out between mm, waters i got it okay okay uh, some of them like this one here you see has a a cup shaped uh, center here and there is some water in here and think about mother nature if it's raining the water gets caught mm -hmm. in this cup and it stays in there. Okay. And sometimes these type of bromeliads only like they can be watered that way. You just put fill up the center with some water. The thing, thing is, you got to watch that because it can get too much water and rot. See, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, yeah it, it can. Too much. But, yeah. but the cup varieties are used to having water inside the center. But just not too, much. not too much. Now, if you've got them in dirt like this and it's wet and you've got some water in here, that's that could be yeah. too much. Okay, got it. So, well drained soil. Well drained soil. Problems. The probably the number one problem is overwatering. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I can see that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it, rotting from being overwatered is probably the worst problem that they have. Now they can get. Uh, some mealy bugs, mm. some aphids, and some scale, just like yeah. any n plant on the interior of your house. Right. 
Uh, common, so like yeah, yeah. But you just neem oils and you know if you scale a little alcohol and rub them off, yeah. um, wash off the aphid, you know the, some of the okay. same things you would do for any house plant okay. to get rid of those. Um, now sometimes they will get nice and green and tall and thin strappy leaves and believe it or not even if it's in like a south facing window and gets interior light if it gets like that it means that it's got not got enough light not enough mm -hmm. yeah because most of these are pretty thick thick leaves yeah. but tall thin strappy leaves is a sign mm -hmm. that they're just not getting enough light okay so would they need to be up potted um, probably not. They have very small uh, root systems. They, this is how they multiply. They multiply with what they call pups beside mm -hmm. each one. This one has several on the outside of it. This plant, bromelides, only bloom once. Mm. When this uh, flower dies, that's the only time it's ever going to bloom. You can cut the flower stalk off. Okay. But then see it's reproducing itself by these pups. Well, eventually the center original plant will die. That's interesting, yeah. And then these pups will take over. Right. And you can, you know, you can leave them or you can up pot them and have all of them in the same container if you want to, or you can take each one apart and have a new plant in uh, a different pot. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, then it will take up to three years for the, yeah, each one of yeah. these pups to bloom. Okay. Like the original plant. Have you noticed this one doesn't have any of the pups on the side? And I have a theory. My theory is a lot of people will buy these. The blooms will be beautiful and they'll, they'll die down. And then they'll have this beautiful foliage and this beautiful foliage. And then suddenly this plant dies and it never produces pups. Um, it's just going through its life cycle because they don't, unless they, the only way they reproduce mostly is by the pups. So if they don't have enough light to produce pups, then the plant will eventually die without ever having produced pups. Now I do know that they reproduce by seed, but that's really complicated in a grower and a you know, genetist. I, I, you know, I'm just talking the normal homeowner. You know, they get these, it'll bloom. They'll, these eventually die and they don't produce another pup. I think it's just going through its life cycle. Right. So no fertilizing then? Do you we have to worry about fertilizing? This reminds me of orchids. It doesn't really need doesn't to be need fertilized. Okay. And if you do, I only fertilize it half diluted with a complete fertilizer, liquid fertilizer in the spring and summer only. Spring and summer you don't, Because like all plants, you know, they have a, their downtime. When the light levels are lower and they can't use the food anyway, like mm -hmm. in the winter, you don't want to over fertilize them and over water them. Okay. So do they have root systems like orchids? No, they're, they're, okay. they're not quite, they don't have that yeah. thick of fleshy. Okay. Because uh, uh, actually orchid, orchids prefer their roots out oh, of the ground. Right. These don't necessarily, you know, they're in the soil and they usually stay in the soil when they're plotted in soil. Okay. If they're on the side of a branch, you just remember, you got to, at the forest, you've got to water it, it's mist right. it a right. lot. Right. But that's why that people pot it up because it, it okay. takes less care when they're in a container. All right, Madonna, we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. yeah. How to take care of bromeliads, how, how about that? Been around for millions of years. Millions of years. I'm impressed, that's pretty good. Thank you much.